There's only a section of the pack crowd as the cars come out onto the circuit now to prepare for round one of the Goodyear Car Owners Club series for the Ford Lasers. The distance of today's race is eight laps. A lot of uh, rewards uh, for the drivers contesting this year's series. It's been very strongly backed by Cheviot Wheels, by Century Batteries and by Valvoline, the Goodyear Car Owners Club series. And Peter Dane, who uh, was so successful last year, winds up this year with the sponsorship from the Goodyear Car Owners Club. So he's got the double whammy, Neil Crompton. It's been a great effort from him. Finished last year's championship with 71 points up his sleeve ahead of Ken Douglas, who this year becomes the technical advisor to the Laser Series. And uh, Mark Gibbs has moved on to Group E racing. Young Mark Scaife still out there in uh, car number two. Uh, so this one should be a butte one. Steve Williams is a fellow who I think's got a lot of talent. He's in the second car here in the orange and white colours. He's been showing a lot of promise towards the end of the 85 series. I think we might uh, take a second out take a look at the grid, how the cars will line up this afternoon. On pole position is 41 Peter Dane, from 2 car number 11 is Steve Williams. From 3 car number 2 Mark Scaife, from 4 17 Andrew Harris, from 5 car number 24 Baron Robertson, from 6 is 19 Graham Blanche, from 7 car 10 Richard Gartner, from 8 42 David Morton, from 9 car number 90 Benny Ruggles, from 10 car number 38 Ian Pusty from 11, number 77, Garth Downing. And rounding out the top 12, 51 is Dennis Rogers. So 12 starters. I would have thought the organisers may have planned, considering the rewards uh, for these drivers. And let's face it, there's a lot more prize money at uh, stake here for the uh, Goodyear uh, series for this year than a lot of uh, the other major um, car events that we follow during the course of the year. I'm sure that the, uh, the fields will uh, grow during the course of the series. I had a car accident there once from Garth Downing. Oh, no, it was Rath Downing, that's right. In case you're confused, you're in good company. Okay, so the lovely ladies are along from Goodyear to warn the drivers prior to the start. As I mentioned, the series put together by Goodyear, in association with Chevy and Century Batteries, and of course Valvoline. Some great racing to come. Eight laps. It's a sprint event. Peter Dane and pole position. We're about 10 seconds away from the start of the opening round for 1986. The flag is up. Keep your eyes on Peter Dane. And they're racing, and Dane gets away quickly, but Williams goes with him on the outside, grabs another gear, but I think uh, Dane will probably win the drag to the top of Bichipe for the first time. Mark Scape also making a good start on the inside of the second row, and rounding them up quickly is Baron Robinson. And he's looking for a place to park here on the inside. He couldn't pass, so he almost had to park it. They drop down into Dunlop. Uh-oh, race leader under siege. A little bit of fiberglass, never hurt anyone. They go through Dunlop and make the exit out of the turn. Now onto the back straight. They've all managed to get through there, the 12 contestants. And they run down now towards Mazda Corner, where we find Steve Williams has taken over the lead. And uh, that will certainly put plenty of pressure on Peter Dane, the pole sitter. Here they come, down to the left-hander at Honda Corner. Williams through, followed by Dane, and there's the rest of the field going through now. Well, Scaife's come up very quickly. I think Peter Dane got a shock when Steve Williams attacked him at the first corner up the top of the hill. Took a little bit of the uh, headlight assembly with him on the way. So now Dane has to settle himself back down and get back on with the job of trying to regain the lead proven it once today that he has the talent to be able to lead this field. Mark Scaife's very well positioned as well in third place there in the red car and those three drivers have opened up an enormous gap over the rest of the field. Little drafting going on here as Williams leads to the top of Nissan Skyline and who will win the drag down into the right hander. Well, it's going to be brave. Steve Williams. Look at Scaife down on the inside. They come out of the turn. And providing Williams drives very tight lines here, he's going to make it very difficult for uh, Dane. And all the time, Scape is closing on the pair of them. Coming down, Hill this time to the left-hander at Honda Corner. Well, Dane's all over him like a cheap suit. He's giving him plenty to worry about at the moment. Williams gets out on the ripple strips. Well, Dane's committed here on the outside. He's been locked out too. He can't come back in again because uh, that the Scape death, is there. Is that the death seat, Wilco? That's the death seat. Uh, I can vouch for it. You can't win from there. Okay, Williams doing it nicely coming out. Scape hasn't got enough horsepower to go on with it, or has he? Oh, this will be tight. Oops. Dane. Wheels up Mother Brown. Across the line. Two down. 
six remaining, and Steve Williams with plenty of pressure on him from Peter Dane, heading up Bitcher Pave Hill again to the top of Nissan Skyline. They crest the left-hander and drop down into the right-hander. There's the leaders going through, and the next bunch back behind them. Gun number 24 going through, Baron Robertson. He made a good start. That back Andrew there Harris in fourth. In 17, follows him. Graham Blanche in the green and white car. And then car number 10, Richard Gartner going through. This is where the dice is. There's Robertson, Harris going through. And meantime, up at the, uh, the lead, we find that uh, Peter Dane is still trying to work away by Steve Williams. He's tried the outside run through that corner. That didn't work. Scaife moved right up on the inside of him. And it's a matter of who's got a bit of acceleration up here. Dane wasn't giving uh, Scaife a chance there. Doesn't have to, mind you. Pit boards go out to the drivers. And they head up Bitcher Pave Hill again. And if anything, uh, Williams has opened that gap up just a little over uh, Peter Dane. And Mark Scaife is getting closer to Dane as they go over the top and drop down to Dunlop. Well, I think Williams has realised pretty early on in the season that... Uh, Aggression is going to be the better part of valour in this series for 1986 and that was the way it was right off the grid and he knew that he had to get the best of Peter Dane from the jump or he wasn't going to get it at all. There's 30 points for a win in today's first round of the nine round series. The cars will run between Calder, Amaru Park and Oran Park. There's $1,500 up for a win in this particular race and $3,000 up for the series win. Buy another car, I think. <laughs> you stay out of them. I promised your mum and dad you couldn't. OK, heading down to uh, the right-hander at the lake. Still Steve Williams. Peter Dane very, very close this time. And Scaife right behind him picking up the back wheel. That's Steve, not bad money. Steve surprised me. He's, uh, he's really hung on to this one. I thought that Dane was going to be able to outfox him there in the opening couple of laps, but he's really showing his mettle. It's, uh, it's a great job. And Mark Scaife doing an excellent job as well. Last year voted the best newcomer got the encouragement award from Goodyear and look at Peter Day now as he challenges across the top looks for the run down the inside but that rapidly becomes the outside as they plunge to the Dunlop loop Williams knows how to cover his territory yes, he's not doing a bad yeah. job of that uses all of the uh, the track at the exit point and now you find he'll use a very tight line through Mazda well, there's a tally ho paper separating first and second at the moment nothing between them Oh, look at Dane. Oh, Steve Williams, two wheels through the turn. That, uh, of course, is going to catch uh, Dane out again on the outside. Now, if Scaife has got enough to slip down the inside, well, this will be a brave move if it works. I bet it doesn't. He's going to have to watch himself because Mark Scaife will happily take that yes. second place, and that's exactly what he wants to do now. Moves up on the inside. He'll have the line for the corner. It'll be flat out through here in third gear. Scaife looks sideways. He knows he's got it. And Mark Scaife from the central coast of New South Wales up to second. So the order, Williams, Scaife and Dane, one, two, three. Poor Peter Dane has tried every move in the book to get uh, to the lead past Williams again. And none of them have worked. None of them have, but at least he's tried everyone. Now he's got to take Scaife back. And I think Dane's car probably has a little more grunt than, uh, than Scaife's laser he'll have to work hard at it to try and pull back second place. Down the back straight towards the right-hand kink at Mazda Corner. Williams still leading Scape in second. That's how close Dane is. The cars in this series are the KA and KB Ford lasers as Dane plunges on the outside again looking for a way round the outside of Mark Scaife. He's going to have to do it the long way no matter how he does it unless Scaife makes a mistake and he doesn't appear as though he's going to. Unless he climbs in through the boot. The well, guys in the lasers have been known to do that before. I think he's Peter Dane fainting a pass here. Went down the outside. Was going to try and get back on the inside from the exit. But that didn't work. Scaife had all the uh, tracks covered. Well, while they're involved in that battle, they're allowing the fourth place car to get a bit closer. And the leading car to get away. Williams is loving this up front in car number 11. Baron Robertson, the next man through in the dark coloured car there. Car number 24. So he's enjoying watching the scrap through the windscreen at the moment because he knows the longer they they keep on playing uh, silly games the more likely he is to reel in some territory dane that time got the back of the front wheel drive laser sideways which is not an easy trick they come down towards master again and dane very close indeed 
Well, these cars are virtually stock standard. They have a roll cage in them, a safety harness, quite obviously. They must carry a fire extinguisher. They must comply with Group E production car regulations. The only difference from these in an ordinary uh, Group E car is they can change front brake pad material, a new front shock absorber, and that's about the strength of it. You can go racing. The battle going on for fourth, fifth and sixth is uh, pretty tight as well as we see Williams untroubled in front, then Scaife and Dane still doing battle for third. And behind them, with one lap remaining, a real ding-dong going on to try and get themselves sorted out. Under 2 k's to go. They're giving Steve Williams a pit signal, 66.8 his lap time. It doesn't really matter what time it is because he's in the lead. Now, can Dane get second placing back? He has another lash across the top. Very tidy and sensible drive from Steve Williams. I think he was fifth in last year's championship. He's off to a good start in 86. Here they come. Steve Williams. Mark Scaife running in second. And Peter Dunn. Oh, gee, almost bought himself undone there right at the death. Well, he's got five or six car lengths between himself and Scaife. But no need to throw it away at this stage. Last move coming up by Peter Dane, whether he can pass Mark Scaife coming out of this bend. They're almost side by side. Is Dane going to keep on with it? Yes, he is. Oh. And here he comes. Oh, ho, ho. Here they come out of the bend. But Williams will taste victory. Second place across the line will go to Scaife. And Peter Dane will pick up third place. And they did it without exchanging paint, which wasn't bad. Well, a good result to the... Goodyear Car Owners Club Laser Series, round number one today at Amaru Park Raceway. Let's check the placings on the Castrol scoreboard. The win going to Steve Williams. Second place going to Mark Scaife. And third goes to Peter Dane. There's more Amaru action when we return. And the congratulations are due to uh, Steve Williams. Good effort. Thanks, Gary. In fact, terrific effort. Thank you. I think that... Uh, the ranks seem to be a bit thinner in this uh, category this year, but uh, I don't think it's any less aggressive for that. Oh, no, it's still pretty aggressive. <laughs> a couple of moments down there, but the only thing is to stay in there and keep on the pressure and just go for it. Well, I was going to say, I think you adopted the uh, correct philosophy right at the outset. Uh, if you're going to win in this uh, category, you've got to be uh, up there right from the time the flag drops. Oh, it, it's, it's no good qualifying down around the third uh, row. You've got to qualify in the first two, and... I was lucky enough to, this morning to qualify fifth and get up in the second was what I was aiming at. Mm. And uh, I got the jump and I just went for it. And it was as simple as that, just drive the hardest and keep it within reason. I think it probably worked in your favour that uh, that Peter and Mark were having their own duel behind you and you were, you therefore got a pretty trouble-free run in front. Yeah, that's what I aimed at, keep making sure that while those two were playing with each other, I had enough ground to go for it and, and you, make sure I get a bit of a lead on. Still managed to get a little bit out of shape down there at Honda on the last lap, though. I was trying there. <laughs> you were trying real hard. the boys sneaking up and I thought, oh, no. That's well, on. I think from memory you finished fifth in this series last year. Yeah, that's right. We had a few incidents last year of... Uh, different things and we started to come good in the last two rounds and unfortunately it wasn't good enough but I was lucky enough to manage to win the first round here last year at Amaru so I do hope to win plenty more and uh, I'd like to take this chance while I could there's a lot of people to thank but Channel 7 probably couldn't give me enough time I'd like to thank Johnny Williams and the boys from WC's and Mal Rose uh, HB World of Products, Guardian Auto Electrics and Ross McKenzie for looking after the preparation of the bodywork and of course not forgetting Swan Motors as far as I'm concerned. Without Swan Motors, I would not be here today. And thanks a lot, Swannies. As far as I'm concerned, you're the best Ford dealer in Australia. Well, you've done a great job for them. Congratulations. Victory in the opening round of the Goodyear Car Owners Club Series to Steve Williams. Thanks, Gary.